Which exponential law are we using on the first problem? We're just applying the idea that a to the m multiplied by a to the n should be equals to a to the m plus n. So let me just copy the problem again. So we have uh, 2 to the power x minus 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 1 and then everything uh, divided by 2 to the power x minus 2 right and this will be equals to uh, so instead of having 2 to the power x minus 3 we're going to have instead 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power minus 3 right uh, the exponential law i was proposing and then minus 3 multiplied by 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power 1 right and then again uh, we're dividing everything by uh, instead of writing it as 2 to the power x minus 2 we're gonna have 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power minus 2 right so now i want you to realize something here uh, we can take 2x as a common factor in the numerator right and then we can cancel it out with uh, 2 to the power x in the denominator so we're going to end up with something of this manner uh, so we're going to have 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the minus 3 uh, minus 3 multiplied by 2 right which is just 6 and then everything divided by 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the minus 2 so here we can simply uh, cancel 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x uh, so we're going to be left with 2 to the power minus 3 that is 1 divided by 8 and then minus 6 and then everything divided by 2 to the minus 2 that is the same as 1 divided by 4 so we can rewrite that and have instead uh, 1 divided by 8 minus 6 multiplied by 4 divided by uh, 1 we can do that and then uh, that is going to be equals to uh, so 1 divided by 8 multiplied by 4 that is going to be 1 divided by 2 and then minus 6 12 24 so 1 divided by 2 minus uh, 24 right so that is going to be uh, minus 23.5 which in fraction uh, we can write it as uh, minus 47 divided by 2 uh, that will be uh, minus 23.5 right and that's how we would essentially uh, solve 2.1 and then the next question 2.2.1 uh, we have 2 minus 16x to the power of minus 3 divided by 2 being equal to 0 so let's see what we can do here so we have 2 minus uh, 16 multiplied by x to the minus 3 divided by 2 being equal to zero so what you want to do here you want to take uh two to the right hand side right so we're going to have minus 16 x to the minus 3 divided by 2 being equal to minus 2 right and then we can divide both sides by minus 16 we're going to get x to the minus 3 divided by 2 being equal to 1 divided by 8 right uh, but i want to show you something here uh 1 divided by 8 we can write it as 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 and then we can write 1 divided by 2 to the power 3 as 2 to the minus 3 right so if we go ahead and do that we're going to have x to the uh, so we're going to have x to the minus 3 divided by 2 being equals to 2 to the minus 3 so now i'm going to apply a little trick right let me show you what i'm talking about so we're going to have x to the minus 3 divided by 2 and then everything to the power minus 2 divided by 3 right you will see shortly why i'm doing that and then on the right hand side we have to do the same 2 to the minus 3 everything to the power minus 2 divided by 3 right so here minus 3 and 3 they're gonna cancel out right we have negatives on both sides and then 2 and 2 cancels out so we just left with x being equal to uh, 2 to the power and then minus 3 and minus 3 they're gonna cancel out and then we're left with 2 to the power 2 right so x is just equals to 4 and we have solved that problem uh on to the next one what do we have here we have um 4 to the x um plus 8 right 4 to the x plus 8 uh, being equals to 9 multiplied by 2 to the x right so instead of writing 4 to the x as it is we can just write it as uh 2 to the 2 everything to the x 
plus 2 to the 3, right? Uh, being equals to 9 multiplied by 2 to the x. So if we solve that bracket there, we're going to get uh, 2 to the 2x. And then uh, if we take 9 multiplied by 2 to the x to the left hand side, we're going to get minus 9 multiplied by 2 uh, to the x plus 8. So plus 8 being equals to 0, right? So now I want us to do something here. I want us to let uh, 2 to the x b equals to k right so if we do that uh, we're gonna get uh, k squared minus 9k uh, plus 8 being equals to 0 right so we can go ahead and uh, factorize this if we do that we're gonna get k and then some number there multiplied by k uh, being equals to 0 right so now we have to ask ourselves a specific question which two numbers do we multiply and we get 8 but then when we add them we get minus 9 that is minus 8 and minus 1 right so we're gonna get k minus 8 and then k minus 1 being equals to 0 right so uh, the first bracket we're gonna get k uh, being equals to 8 so 2 to the power x will be equals to 2 to the power 3 that is uh, 8 right so x is equals to 3 on this side and then on the other bracket we're gonna get k is equals to 1 so we have 2 to the power x being equals to 1 so it will be easy to see that x is equals to 0 right and then uh, let's move to the next question after the next one uh, we have something here we have uh, x and then square root of 9 being equals to 2, 4, 3, right? So instead of writing 9 like that, uh, but then let me tell you something. What I try to do first here, I try to write 2, 4, 3 with a base of 9, but I couldn't. And then I'm like, okay, fine. Let me try 3 because I know that I can write 9 with a base of 3. And then it worked. So that's why I decided to, okay, let me write everything with a base of 3. So this is uh what happened when i tried that so we're gonna have x and then in the square root we have three to the power of two instead because it, it is just nine and then two four three with a base of three that is uh three to the power five right now you can already see what's going to happen here so on the left hand side i'm gonna have three uh to the power two divided by x we can do that meaning equals to three to the five so two divided by x will be equals to 5, right? We drop in the basis and equating the exponents. So here we're going to have 2 being equals to 5x. So we know fully well that uh, x should be equals to 2 divided by 5. And we have solved that problem. Well, the last problem uh, it looks scary, but then it's quite simple. Like, yeah, I thought it was going to be quite difficult, but not, not really, not really. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, very quick, you will realize that here we have a difference of two squares right but then just inside brackets so we can just keep the keep the bracket as it is and solve the difference of two squares so if we do that we're going to have something of this manner so we're gonna have p minus q right multiplied by p plus q that's what you do when you have a difference of two squares and then multiply by p plus q to the five divided by two and then uh, everything divided by uh, p minus q to the to the half right so we can uh cancel out uh before you know we do that let me fix something for the faint added ones so on the numerator we can uh, do this we can have p minus q multiplied by the square root of p plus q i don't want to confuse anybody and then multiply by p plus q to the 5 divided by 2 and then everything uh, divided by p minus q to the half right so p minus q to the half we can cancel it out with p minus q with the square root we know that the square root is to the power of half right now i want you to realize something we just have p plus q uh, to the half multiplied by p plus q to the 5 divided by 2 right so we're just gonna have p plus q uh, to the half plus 5 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2, I think uh, that is 2.5 of that, right? So if we uh, add a half to that, we shall get uh, p plus q uh, to the power 3 